the class setup for this week's episode of Random Warfare. Free for all. What's up guys, X-Dragon here, bringing you the first return episode of Random Warfare and Game of the Week. So this week we have a game of Modern Warfare 2 using the AUG H bar, the single ranger, I did not have a Kimbo unlocked at the time, frag grenade, flashbang, painkiller, scavenger, hardline ninja, and unfortunately I have my killstreaks messed up, but I will go over the killstreaks that were supposed to be used, the predator missile, the precision airstrike, and the harrier airstrike. In these gameplays you will see me using the sentry gun, the pred no, sentry gun, harrier, and emergency airdrop, which another killstreak setup for another class that I was trying to do, and I was too stupid to switch it back. So, to start off, we have the AUG, and being that it doesn't have stopping power, it still can just absolutely destroy people. It does massive amounts of damage. It doesn't have that bad of recoil when you don't have a grip, and the red dot really does actually help you with your accuracy. Or at least it helped me a lot. I played a few games with this, and I was, I was still nailing people from long range and getting those kills. But uh, yeah, it works without stopping power. I've actually had experience with it using uh, cold blooded and thermal and stuff like that. So the AUG is really a good all-around weapon. Whether you want to be stealthy, you know, you want to use cold blooded and a silencer, or if you want to use, or if you just want to go loud and use like, uh, I don't know, just like go grip and stopping power. You can just absolutely manhandle people with this gun it's it's a good choice if you want to use something that's consistent on many levels so the ranger I only had one of them but it, the class calls for two of them so I didn't have that but uh, using a Kimbo Rangers you have four shots that do absolutely massive amounts of damage like one shot if you were to, like put a ranger in someone's face and pull the trigger once you can kill a person with painkiller, so that's pretty impressive. Also, since you can use both barrels, if you think you're going to get a hit marker, you can just pull both triggers and just absolutely blow someone away with your, I think it was like over 900 damage. It's over 900! Or something like that. And, yeah, the Ranger, only having one of them was good because, I don't know, it, it has tighter hip fire, so that's good. But only having one also gives you only two shots to use instead of four, where the akimbos may have the greater hip fire uh, box, but it still just works out the same because you have more shots to shoot at people, you have a bigger hip box, but that can help you out sometimes. So, I hope you guys will understand that. So next we're going to move on to the uh, equipment. We have the frag grenade, flashbang, and painkiller death streak. So the frag grenade, I prefer Semtex. I'm always going to prefer Semtex, but a frag grenade will really help you with your tactical throwing of stuff and trying to kill people. So it was, it's really helpful. Not to say that I never use it, but I will prefer Semtex over it any day. We have the flashbang, which in Modern Warfare 2, you throw at a slower pace and a stun grenade, which I like to use stun grenades because I can throw them faster and get my gun back out. Now in Modern Warfare 3, you don't have this problem. So here we're going to go into a little bit of host migration, and as I come out, I'm not down by 1050, I'm down by 1200. I was, it was a tie game with host migration, and we come out, me losing by many kills. Moving on to a state. We have the uh, Ranger part of the gameplay, as you'll see. And let's see, let's finish up with the uh, Painkiller. Painkiller uh, reduces the damage. I think it's what it's supposed to do by a third. By I think you only take a third of the normal damage, pretty much giving you 300 health. So yeah, it's pretty damn cheap, but you have to deal with it anyway. The kill streak, well, perks first. Uh, scavenger, scavenger pro. You have full ammo to start with. You pick up ammo and grenades and stuff from enemy bodies. Also, good use for noob tubers. Hardline. You get your kill streaks take one less kill. If you don't know that, where the hell are you? Ninja. You get quiet footstep. No. Ninja regular. 
can get uh, no appearance on the heartbeat sensors and Ninja Pro you have silent footsteps. Silent footsteps are key for me because I like to sound for it. Even though I don't use like Turtle Beach or anything, I can sound for the crap out of you using my standard definition piece of shit TV. So, yeah. So the kill streaks I was supposed to use were the Predator Missile, the Precision Airstrike, and the Harrier Airstrike. So the Predator Missile, do I really have to explain it? You get a missile, you can control it, you can kill one, two, five, six people. Uh, if you're lucky. The precision airstrike, it's more of just a, uh, when you call it a regular Harrier, you get the two planes to go by and drop bombs. Well, you get three of them. Duh. Harrier airstrike. Duh. Everybody knows the Harrier. Freaking, it's a man. It's, it just murders everybody. So, yeah. And even with the, uh, messed up kill streaks, th this class was capable of getting the the, uh, what's it called? The emergency airdrop, and I did it pretty easily, especially with the Ranger. I, I thought it was going to be a lot more difficult. But that's all I have to say, guys, on the class. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of Random Warfare. Next week, come back, and we're going to try and do another one. So, hopefully, you guys have enjoyed. Remember to stay tuned. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out. Peace.